All right, everybody. I got a ticket while the engine's running, like a rattle, and the customer had recently put a transmission. I didn't do it, but somebody else did. And I suspect the torque converter bolts were loose because it rattles like really loose rattle, and then when you put it in gear, the rattle, would it would calm down like if it had pressure against the transmission. Well, I'm going to show you firsthand what you're looking at when you're looking for the torque converter bolts coming out. I've already removed the starter, and there's a little shield, a little plastic dust shield or whatever. I've already removed that just so I don't burn up a lot of time, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm under the vehicle, and here's the cavity where the starter goes. I've got the starter unbolted. Can you see that? Look real close. Let me... Try to get you a little, little bit closer. See it sticking out? Right here? Yeah, it's sticking out. It's backed out so bad that it's, it's essentially just hanging in there for no reason. Anyway, that's what you're looking for. I wonder if we can spin around and see if another one's loose. That's one loose. Let's see if another one is. No, that one's in. Ain't that amazing though? That's amazing. Well, hopefully you could see what I was what I was showing. The the bolt had backed out of the um, torque converter bolt had backed out so much that if it came out anymore, it'd probably hit the engine and then we would have had big problems. But I always lock tight them. And when I install them, I put some blue Loctite on them and, and torque them. But uh, always install Loctite on them bolts because they'll wheel back out no matter how tight. Keep in mind, when you do the Loctite, you can torque them. In it. But even if your torque specs are slightly low, that Loctite will hold it in there. It won't go nowhere. But till the next time, just remember, I'm an honest man trying to run an honest business.